going to be a good concept and you can tell by the way the, the ticket sales are, I think they'll be either sold out or near capacity for all three games and um, you know, if, if that doesn't get you excited, nothing will, so I think the, the boys in the town are really looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be a big test for us Friday night against the Red Hot Warrington side. They seem to have started off the season really well with their yeah, two wins from their comp games and also two wins from their pre-season trial matches, so uh, we're going to have our hands full. Uh, we've well, been obviously from Australia, I know a few of their players, and um, you know, you've Benji Marshall, Gareth Widdop, and Josh Dugan in your team. It's, it's going to be an attacking side, and um, you know, we're going to have to run our game in defence if we're going to handle them. So you know, they've got some big forwards, but you know, I think you know, them, them three blokes are their dangers, so we're going to have to go do our best to control them. Um, we're doing everything we can, preparing uh, the best we can for Friday night. It's going to be a, a huge challenge, uh, especially with the crowd as well. It's something that's uh, uh, a little bit different from back home, uh, not so, uh, don't have such a vocal crowd, so it's going to be a, a huge thrill uh, and a big challenge. What do you expect from, from the Wigan Warriors? I mean, uh, I guess aside from throwing everything they can at you to win the game, what, you know, what, what style, what, what, what dangers do you, do you think we're going to have within their side? Oh, they play pretty much like an Australian side, um, like a very good forward pack, and big guys and pretty strong. So we expect them to try and run over the top of us, go through the middle of us before they get us on the, on the outside. So but that's something we're used to every week. I think, I'm sure we can handle that. Well, we're challenged by it, but I'm sure we can handle it. The message from our players is quite simple. You know, I, 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 want, I, want, I want Brisbane to see the best of our club. And, uh, and if they do that, we'll, we'll, we'll win the game. And, you know, so it's as simple as that. We know what we need to do. You know, I, I do fully respect Brisbane and what they do and, and how they play. And, and obviously Wayne's going to change that slightly but it's going to make them better so I know it's a huge challenge ahead of us but I'm confident that my players can play as well so it's, it's got the makings of a great game and I think if I'm honest all three games are going to be good games and if we can get three wins then it's going to be great for our competition. Well, you know recovery is obviously massive after a big flight so it's, you know, it's been a big part of it so far and you know in saying that we haven't been roughing it either so that helps um, you know, the body clock's not too bad at the moment to be honest and um, yeah, we're still training well, and you know it's, it's, it's exciting. So that helps. Uh, you know, doesn't you don't think about it too much. Then. Yeah, obviously, not ideal to travel such a long way before a game. Uh, I think credit to the Australian teams for, for buying into it, for committing all the resources to getting here. Um, they've flown over business class, mind. So for anybody who hasn't been in a business class flight, it's it's not particularly traumatic. You know, you're getting. Uh, you get getting press your button and you get a sort of Michelin star meal on your, on your plate and you get a bed and an endless selection of movies. So for most rugby league players, it wouldn't be different to a normal day off, would it? So uh, it's probably a lot of our fellas replicated being on a business class flight, but at home on the PlayStations over the weekend anyway. So no difference. And that England-Australia rivalry that, that there is in any sport, that, that'll make for, you know, that adds an extra dimension to it, you know, brings the intensity to a, to a different level, doesn't it? Yeah, of course it does, and, you know, there's, there's a, another big prize up for grabs, that's uh, the season, the, the, the world champ, um, you know, Australia or England, so, you know, that's another big big prize, another big bragging rights that, that's up for grabs. Yeah, you know, I can feel the excitement in the camp, and all the players are buzzing now, they've, they've sort of dampened it down slightly over the last two weeks, and the players have been brilliant, how professional they've been, and focus for the games that we've had to get through. We've got through those games and, and you know, for me the big days come today when we start preparing to play you know, one of the best, best rugby league teams in history. You'll know quite a bit about St. Helens. Yeah, we have. Uh, we've got a bit of knowledge there. So uh, obviously we spoke to Cash Wayne at uh, Wigan and he's sort of gone through a few different things with uh, how they're going about things. So yeah, it's good little uh, in our secrets, but we're looking forward to just getting in and playing and uh, you know, to come over here and, and play in this arena with three teams sort of coming across. I think it's a great concept. You know, as a team, we're, we're excited to be here. As a team, we're looking forward to get, getting in, get training done and looking forward to Sunday night.